We got the Freewing AL37 from Motion RC here, and I'm finally getting around to doing a basic, simple static thrust test using two different motors. So on one side, the right side, we have a Leopard Hobby 2860-2730 kV inrunner in that nacelle. And then over here we have the stock one. This is the stock Freewing 3048 outrunner. Now notice, notice something on the end there. What is that? That looks like 2800 to me. 2300 maybe? I don't know. So we're going to see uh, stock ESCs. I have 80 amp ESCs. This Leopard motor is rated at 60, so I'm going to try the stock ones first. And then uh, we have some test subjects back here for the static thrust test, courtesy of my daughter. We'll see if they hold up. Don't imagine they're going to make it too far. We got her strapped down. Strapped down with a very scientific bungee system. We're just going to go off of sight and sound. You know, I could bust out a clipboard and put fish scales on here, I suppose, and do all that jazz, or we could just see what happens with one engine in one wing, one engine in the other. So, without further delay, all I'm going to do is get it up to a slight idle. I'm going to go 50% and then give it all the beans. I should probably get these out of the way. Let's do a quick sound test here. Here's the leopard. Stop. All right. Definitely dramatic. Well, it blew all the test subject off. It definitely looks like it is pulling pretty hard from this side and that's the leopard motor you can definitely hear an rpm difference i don't know if you can hear it on camera but stock motor pretty cool the leopard motor is a little warm so she's a little warm We'll see how it turns out on camera, but there you have it. The static thrust test stock versus leopard.